Should the Detroit Lions pick Osiris Torrance at 18th overall? Find out my thoughts. Cue that intro. It's showtime. Man, oh man, where do I begin? Osiris Torrance, one of my favorite players in this draft class. Osiris Torrance is a guard. He's six foot five, 330 pounds junior out of Florida. He's 23 years old. At the NFL level, he's a day one starting right guard. Osiris Torrance wins with easy power. He can move tackles, push them out the hole with ease. There's not much that he needs to work on. Just keep his tools sharp. On over 2,200 snaps, Osiris Torrance gave up zero sacks in his career at Florida. He only gave up one hit in his career in college and 14 quarterback hurries in his college career. In three years, he played in 34 games. Osiris Torrance exclusively played at right guard, which, yes, fills the massive hole that the Detroit Lions have. Now, they did fill it a little bit with Graham Glasgow. Graham can play left guard. He can play center. He can play right guard. So there's position flexibility with Graham Glasgow. But the million-dollar question, or should I say $10 million question, is Halapaluti Vaiti Vaitai healthy? With that massive injury to his back, at his weight, his height, things of that nature, that's a scary feature. Now, one thing I do think that the Detroit Lions could possibly do, and this would have to happen post June 1st because it opens up the most money, is a injury settlement. If you draft Osiris Torrance with the 18th overall pick, I do think that you give Halapaluti Vaiti Vaitai a injury settlement, but if he is healthy, you can keep him, restructure his contract, keep him, and at least for one year, you have the best starting five in the National Football League, so the number one offensive line, and then you also have great depth with position flexibility. You can move Vitae to either guards. You can move Graham Glasgow to either guards. You can also move Graham Glasgow to center so that fills three spots with one guy and then you got another guy as a backup to kind of fill both spots in case of you know maybe Graham has to go to center and we need a backup guard well there's Halapaluti Vaiti Vaiti that could possibly do that if he's healthy but the offensive line Taylor Decker Jonah Jackson Frank Ragnow Osiris Torrance and the guy that I spoke into existing when everybody said he will not be there in Panay Sewell, you have Panay Sewell to round out the st- starting five of that offensive line. And that's not even going and saying, well, hey, we need an extra lineman on this play. Graham Glasgow, Halapaluti Vaiti Vaiti can come in, be that extra lineman. Like, you fill out so many holes with Osiris Torrance at the 18th overall pick. I absolutely love this guy. Now, a lot of people will say he's the second best guard in the draft. Steve Avila out of TCU is the best guard. This guy gave up zero sacks in the SEC. Now, I'm a Big Ten guy. I love my Big Ten. But let's keep it 100, everyone. It is not the SEC. Everybody knows the SEC is the best conference in all of college football. Gave up zero sacks, one hit, and 50, I'm sorry, 14 quarterback hurries. Osiris Torrance at the 18th overall pick is a guaranteed steal. And you know he's going to be there because there's so many other guys like a B. John Robinson, a, uh, all these corners, all these tackles, wide receivers, DNs, D tackles. He's going to be there. Now, I don't think he gets out of the first round. I think he's, even though that a lot of mock drafts and 
draft gurus will have him as a late first, early second. I don't think he makes it to the second. I think he's right there in the 20 to, well, in this year, it would be 31. But in any other year that people don't forfeit draft picks, 32, he'll be between that 20 to 32 range. Uh, in this year, be 20 to 31. But that's where I have him going. So if you could pick that steal up in the 18th pick, pair it up with the best D, D lineman available at the sixth pick, you solidified your trenches. We all, all real football fans know games are won and lost in the trenches. Games are won when your quarterback can stay upright. How do that? How does your quarterback stay upright? It's your offensive line. Games are won and lost in the trenches. Osiris Torrance is a bona fide superstar. Think Trey Smith for the Kansas City Chiefs. Zero sacks in the SEC. Bona fide star. I absolutely love it. Not only can Osiris Torrance guarantee a 1,500 yard back, say in David Montgomery, if we draft a B. John Robinson or somebody else, they can also get a 1,500 yard season. That's 3,000 yards that that produced. And not to say if we keep Swift, he could be in a 1,000-yard back with 1,500 yards receiving. Same with Amon Ross St. Brown because you keep uh, Jared Goff upright. He could be a 1,500-yard receiver, multiple touchdowns. Jameson Williams, multiple ways you can use him at the receiver. Multiple ways he could get over thousands of yards. Multiple touchdowns. <laughs> Pick your poison on how you want your opposing teams to lose because that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to be the poison that destroys opposing defenses. You add an Osiris Torrance, you said the NFL, you are on notice, and the NFL, we are the number one offense. And don't let us finish off that defense. And you started it with the sixth pick with the defensive linemen. Great things are about to happen. Brad Holmes is the man. And if he gets Osiris Torrance and finishes off what Bob Quinn started, this offensive line will be the number one offensive line in the National Football League, which will translate to having the best offense. We were already hanging with the Buffalo Bills. We were already hanging with the new or with the Philadelphia Eagles. We were hanging with all these high-powered offenses, all these, well, hey, Philadelphia Eagles were just in the Super Bowl. We competed with them. We only lost by three points. 38-35, week one. You get Osiris Torrance, there's no way a team is going to be able to outscore us. And we're getting touchdowns, not field goals. Only thing, only time my kicker's coming out is for an extra point. That's a good thing to have. So, Osiris Torrance... 18th overall is going to be a steal. Draft Osiris Torrance with the 18th overall pick. You will not be sad. Yes, it's not the sexiest pick. Nobody gets happy about a hog molly, a offensive lineman, a defense. Well, outside, well, defensive lineman, they get a little bit more praise than offensive linemen because they get sacks or they get fumble, for, forced fumbles and things like that. Offensive guards just or offensive linemen, I should say, just protect all that from happening. They don't get the love. A lot of things, they don't show up on a stat sheet. But when you can form the greatest offensive line in the National Football League, and it's all by one more player on that team, a.k.a. Osiris Torrance, you finish the positions. You finish the unit. That one player is Osiris Torrance. On the football field, I want wins. I want championships. Do not pass up on Osiris Torrance. He is the best guard in this draft. Point blank, period. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to help this channel get into the YouTube algorithm, consider clicking that thumbs up because it tells YouTube you like the content that you are watching. It might not be much, but it helps tremendously. If you want to be a part of this growing community, Consider clicking the subscribe button, post notification to all so you're notified as soon as I drop another Detroit Lions video. Thank you so much in advance. And with that being said, love you all. I'll see you in the next video because grit don't quit. Hashtag one pride, baby. Peace.